Tampa Live Stockholm into the second semifinal of the PGL Major. Navi versus Gambit. Time to get it rolling. And Navi on the CT side, on the defense. Gambit are going to be the ones to get to set the pace here in this first round and in this first map. So they already are going to go ahead and take a fight mid. Bit ready for it, though. Able to back off. He's going to hear that info and already communicating that to his teammates. But it turns out that Gambit are trying to pull a fast one on Navi, trying to catch them out of position. They show themselves mid, only to wrap down to B. Perfect. They're going to be calling in the reinforcements, but it's going to be too little, too late. Shiro and Exile have already started it off. Electronic showing some fight though, brings it back to a four on four. But now we go into the sit and wait phase of this retake where Navi are hoping that somebody on Gambit are gonna make a mistake. They go for the flash over the top. Shiro's there and it's all the kills for Gambit. Nothing Perfecto can hope to do in this situation. Gambit win the pistol round to kick off the overpass. Yeah, that's a great that's a great pistol round from Gambit. And Navi just trying to set up the retake, obviously, and get completely annihilated on it. That's a great convincing call from Gambit as well. Seeing that window of opportunity and just taking it before Navi can really react. Some good long range shots and beautiful crossfire set up in the bomb site to stop this retake. One to nothing for Gambit. Such a sick fake. Navi, you can tell they were freaking out as soon as they saw all those players coming up mid. Already the rotations are getting called in. It just all fell apart for Navi so quickly there. And that's a very nice play coming in from Gambit to set the tone here. Quick and straight to the point. Just really shocking Navi on that CT side. Well, let's see what Navi can do. They fully invested into this. Plenty of utility, all the deagles as well. Playing it pretty passively for the moment, and Gambit is going to send a lot of bodies out towards Long. Three players, one at Fountain to watch for any kind of push, and surely they would clear in towards bathrooms at this point. Make sure they can control some of the map before moving up and progressing towards the bomb site. No decisions being made. Plenty of patient uh, play coming in here from Gambit. They've given themselves an out, and they're still waiting on to catch any flanks that are getting potentially thrown in here by Na'Vi. Nades getting committed to the upper side, though. is probably going to give it away. Simple's in a position to just blast him in the face. He's not going to find a kill, though. Nefani gets tagged, gets a follow-up there from Bit, but the kills are not coming through. It's not until Boomich chimes in, finds one of his own. Right, there's not much more they can do here. Three on four. Boomich would have to do something really special. The rest of Navi has arrived. The smoke is going to give them a little bit of cover to be creative. And Boomich pushing up. They almost line up for him. He's got great damage on Exile. They've got to back away. Gambit's under a lot of pressure. And they just leave the bomb site. They say, we want nothing to do with this. More than happy to back away and find a new option. And hoping for some overextensions. And Gambit's not leaving the bomb site quite yet. That's the thing, they've still given themselves some time to play with here. And so Navi are the ones who are going to start second-guessing themselves. Is this going to be a B hit after all? They're committed to the A bomb site. Now they'd have to retake otherwise. And so it is going to be Navi here, ready to spring the trap. Boomich turns it into a 2v2. The bomb is yet to get planted with eight seconds left on the clock. It's going down to a 1v1. And Shiro trying to hunt him down. Boomich just oh gets God. around and he is going to win it. Boomich! I Navi on the board! That is unreal. Brilliant play from Boomich. Winning by mobility, no bullets as well. What an incredible turnaround. Gambit played that pretty well and it's just snatched away from him. That is a heartbreaking round. And that hesitation, do you think that was it? Where they, were, they got cold feet, they met resistance. Boomich putting up the huge fight here on this A side. Do you think Gambit got cold feet and started to second guess themselves? I, I don't know. I don't. I think Pumich has played it so perfect. Like, what can you say about that one? Wrapping around the car as well. Chance of Navi streaming out as they get their first round on the board. And a lot of players, a lot of attention given over towards the B bomb site. Pit in the staircase as well. That's really where it's going to be brutal here for Gambit. It almost feels like they are the away team right now, and that Navi are playing in front of the home audience, even though they're both teams from the same region. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of Navi fans in the house tonight. You got to know you're playing under the shadow of Navi as well. Every time you step into the server against him. AK-47 on Shiro. Now it's powerful weapon that Gambit has in their arsenal at the moment. And he's going to lead the way. Would love to at least find some kills, some weapons to limit the economy. Low patient stuff, and this is going to be the hallmark. This is going to be the trademark. How this whole series gets played out. Both of these teams love to use the clock, run it down for maximum effect, and opportunities like that one. Missed chance there to get a tag from Nefani. But that's what you're waiting for. You're waiting for Navi to make the info plays. You need to take advantage of him. There's Bit, though, on the flank with the FB9. He gets the double. 
Outrageous! How long did it take to get that second kill? Nefani and Shiro now left wondering what they can hope to do here. They are sandwiched in with no way out. This AK-47 hasn't even been put into play yet. They've already lost too many players. There's nothing it can really do. No opening it can provide. It would have to be everything from Shiro. Scout's going to lead the way, and there goes the AK. Simple is relentless. Double kill, both headshots, and Navi have a 2-1 to one lead. And Simple's on the board. He joins the party. First two kills of the server so far for him. This is an important map for Navi. You have to remember what we heard Simple talking about, the boot camp, all about building up their weaker maps, all about building up maps that they've struggled on throughout the year. This was one of them, where at certain stretches of the year, if you looked at Navi statistically, take it to overpass, not a great win rate on it. And this one is really going to test the kind of preparation, the kind of practice, and the kind of boot camp that Navi put in ahead of this event of trying to deepen their map pool. And I bet you in specific preparation for this potential matchup going into it. If they know that Gambit have got their number on this map and it's likely that Gambit go deep in this tournament and that they run into them, why wouldn't you put a little extra attention into the map just in case? You keep that on the back burner, ready to go. Sounds like Blade to me. But Navi now comfortable here. This should be a comfortable round for them to win because it's a hard eco from Gambit. No money spent from Gambit. The D gone to Fanny, but the rest of them pretty much rocking Glocks. And now, it's a chance for Na'Vi to farm up a little bit because they've got those MP9s. Really want to see them prioritize the kills. Although for now, Na'Vi, yeah, Bits just waiting again here in the wings. They're simple to take point. Finds that Deagle. And Bits ready to pounce to support him as well. Not that Simple really needs any help in these sorts of situations. Yeah, no, not at all. He's loving these fights as well. He knows exactly what he's up against. Calm and collected, but can't transfer it over. Bit's got to be careful. One behind him. There's Hobbit finally peeking. That's the bomb as well. Far back. Shiro's got the AK, and Bit is going to press the issue. He goes down as well. This is looking a little weird for Navi. There's a chance, a small chance, that Gambit can steal this away. They still have left the bomb backwards. 30 seconds on the clock as they clear down the staircase. Yeah, it's a question of not getting complacent here on the side of Navi. All right, you're feeling it. You get a couple of big rounds going your way, but that doesn't mean that you need to start uh, underestimating Gambit. If you give them the chance, they will rip your head off, as we've seen. With 16 seconds left. I mean, if they get out of this with an AK, actually, Shiro's not going to mind that too much. He'll get dropped an AWP from a teammate. More importantly, losing out of the bonus money doesn't really matter quite yet. Plenty of cash to pick up armor and utility in the next round. So three to one for Navi. Still, yeah, holds on to that AK. He'll be able to full buy. Rest of the team will follow suit. It's a little light. It means that Nefania yeah, has to go for a Galil so he can afford some grenades. The three to one in favor of Navi on the CT side of Overpass. Exactly what Navi were hoping for here, to get a good, strong start early on this map. This is Gambit's map pick after all. So the more rounds that Navi can get on this CT side, the more pressure they can put on Gambit. This is one of the big questions as to whether or not Gambit will be able to bear up under the pressure that you feel playing in front of the fans. Yeah, and on the pressure of losing that second round after winning the pistol. That's an easy way to lose a little bit of composure early on and fall into a deep, deep hole. And Gambit's trying to avoid that at all costs. Standard control over towards playground and over towards fountain at the moment as Gambit leaks out of the choke point. Navi playing a little bit further back. Bit is in bathrooms. With his M4, you've got Simple with the AWP. Lying in wait as well. It's patient play on both sides right now as both of these teams feel out the map. Again, Gambit, a lot of this style revolves around waiting on Navi to make info pushes, to take risks and you'd be there to punish them in the early round. And then eventually, this is what we see. They group and gather, getting ready to hit a bomb site. They have to make that decision early on now. 45 seconds pretty much on the clock. Fanny with the pop flash. This could be a golden opportunity here. This, this setup in Monster is everything. This pop flash, here it comes. Both of them are looking right at it. They just spam. Molotov is dropped. They're going to know there's a second player, but they don't press the issue. The flames hold them back for the moment. An electronic has to get out. No more utility. And somehow he's actually going to be able to escape all the way back. And here comes the rehit. What a beautiful Molotov. That saved everything. Without it, I'm pretty sure Gambit just plow onto the bomb site. Now we're down on time. 20 seconds on the clock. Bit catches out enters. And now Hobbit has to press forward. Has to hit this shot. He will drop electronic in the end. And simple, uncharacteristic miss from him. Can that bomb get planted? Bowman's gonna take a bullet to the side of the head. Simple takes exile, but the bomb is planted and ticking. And Gambit have found a way to find a man advantage here. 
Samples down, Hobbit looking for more. It's a 1v3, Infit gets picked. Nefani takes him out. A second round on the board for Gambit. And that was a bumpy round. That was not smooth, Moses. Yeah, that was not. But I mean, good composure from Gambit, obviously. Getting forced away by the Molotovs, just kind of falling back, setting up, staying patient, re-executing. And they found all the advantages. Timeouts called by Navi. I like that. Yeah, they have a bit of a weird money situation. They're going to figure out exactly how they want to toss guns around and how they want to spend this cash. Nathanie's able to save the AWP from the round and toss it, uh, toss it over to Shiro. Blade doing a lot of the talking there for Navi. I imagine, Blade, you know, I imagine when attack timeout gets called by Navi, that's when Blade's going to be stepping in and saying, okay, guys, this is what needs to happen here. This is what I've noticed already. Oh, yeah. Going into the round. Countdown's begun. And that is just so solid from Gambit. The fact that they even keep enough utility left to re-aggress after the door gets closed on them. That's the kind of stuff that Navi really needs to force Gambit to use those nades early. They can't let them have that much to work with deep in around. Alrighty. Bit setting up for some early aggression, or at least trying to keep Gambit honest over here. Simple showing an early new look. This time the AWP towards dirty, dirty Water. Electronic's gonna be covering the door behind him. They would love to just find one kill, one pick. If Gambit are a little bit lazy and it might be there. Hobbit crouching, just past the tunnel, a stalemate for the moment. Simple doesn't want to cross the threshold. Finest of margins. Who cracks first though? Simple's thinking about it. He's edging out closer and closer. There it is. Hits the timing, impeccable stuff from Simple. Hobbit is out of it. Man advantage now for Na'Vi. Now there is a defender bit who's just kind of hiding halfway up highway at the moment. And that's gonna allow Simple to be a little bit aggressive when he comes back if he chooses to go all the way to the A bomb site. He knows there's nothing in, uh, on highway. He knows there's no danger when he rotates over. But at the moment, still sticking around at the B bomb site and Gambit is spread across the map. 42 seconds. And still haven't finished, uh, picked out where they want to finish. Bomb is towards the B side, and utility is going to start being spent. And parts of the map are cleared and now taken over by Gambit to line up this hit, but it's going to be tough. Three defenders here, including the Undertaker. Yeah, he spots them out as well. There's the info that they need. Outside of Monster Gan gathered up, and the rotation is coming through now. Bit holding close could ruin the Fanny's day, and this is going to be it. The push begins. 15 seconds on the clock. Electronic going to catch Shiro. And this round is falling apart. He gets traded, but the bomb gets denied. Perfecto with the double spray. And Simple collects the final kill of the round. Gambit with the slow play eventually just walks right into Navi's clutches. Yeah, that's actually, that felt a very desperate round from Gambit. That, that was a small attempt at a fake. Those footsteps with that much time on the clock, and actually, it worked. It pulled defenders of Navi away from the B bomb site. Just Electronic's position so very strong and just eliminates half the attack. Picks off the offer, and really there's no danger from there. Perfecto's able to have great impact with the double kill and simple to finish things off. So four to two, a two round lead, and Navi looking pretty good. Timeout called by Gambit as they want to discuss things. So both of these teams, quick to call the timeouts. I love to see it. We've seen, the, it's, it's happened with a few of them where you have rounds that just get stacked and stacked and stacked, no timeout. You're just wondering when are you gonna step in and try and stop the bleeding. Gambit don't even let it get to that point. They have a, a, a scuffed knee and they're already calling a timeout. Yeah, it's tweaking It's tweaking the game plan, right? It's like, what are you seeing? What, did, what are we seeing that we maybe looked into that we researched that we want to take advantage of? What are we seeing that's different than what we thought we were going to encounter? Still early going. And also figuring out exactly what tactic they want to run here with mostly just deagles and a few upgraded pistols. Not a lot of utility going to come out for Gambit. And a double op setup they're facing into. Bit has picked that up for Navi. Next is Simple, and both of those ops are going to be aggressively pushed forward. Long A and towards Fountain. Early smoke, just to exactly make Gambit wonder what's going on with that smoke out there. He's going to keep him honest. Electronic catches Exile trying to... That was interesting. Just lurk his way up short, hoping to uh, find a gap in the defense. Not going to be the case. So once again, Navi with the man advantage in the round early. And going into this series, 79% of the time, Navi have a man advantage. They win at 5v4. Brutal. But that's pretty much what we expect from the elite teams here. The teams that have made it to the top four, they don't give up many rounds they have an advantage in. That's why they're here. That's why they win. Good shot from Simple. A oh. follow-up shot through the corner. Of the doorway. <laughs> this is brutal. Four to two. It's going to be five to two. Hobbits left in a one on five. This is 
one of those rounds, man. The nerves are gonna be setting in a little bit here for Gambit. It's never fun to get brutalized like this, even if it's a round of eco. I mean, they, you need to find at least a couple of kills here just to make it feel good. Say like, okay, we put up a fight in the round. It wasn't a blowout. But Hobbit doesn't even have the bomb, which is kind of the name of the game here. You wanna get the bomb plant so you can get the bonus money. What an easy kill for Boomich. Five to two. Navi looking calm and collected. No issues in the round. Now we get Gambit back to full strength. Now we get the AK-47s, all the utility. The AWP is going to be back in Shiro's hands. I don't think they've seen this double-op setup yet, though. They don't know what kind of defense they're about to encounter. And this is the beautiful shot from Simple, the first one. And the follow-up as well. Just sees a hip go behind the wall. Oh, it's never, not every day we get to see that. So sick. I love this, the element of surprise. Bit and Simple, both rocking ops, and Bit going combat op and connector as well, just looking for a fight. Hoping that somebody here from Gambit is gonna try to get clever. And while he is against, he is up against a veteran. The rest of the team now, on the side of Na'Vi, just gearing up early, hard defense on that B-bomb side for Na'Vi. They were really expecting something here from Gambit. Instead, now you re-aggress and retake some map control. Can we get the bait and switch here? This could be great positioning for Simple. He's going to be able to have impact no matter where the main thrust of this hit comes in, but they now know his position, and they're already creeping out a monster as well. Electronics got to hold him back. Oh, he saved his life. Perfecto, and Simple jumps in, and just like that, it's over. Everyone from Navi collapses, and everyone wins their fight. It's a four-round lead. The overlapping layers of defense there. You pointed it out, it works perfectly. It keeps Simple alive, but what an insane shot from Simple. Dead through the smoke, instant. It looked like, I mean, Perfecto saves his life. It looked like Simple was going down. Perfecto inside the bombsite just gets the one critical there kill to is. keep Simple alive. Electronics able to get the kill towards the, towards the doorway. That way Simple's got all the day to figure out where he wants to go. Now gonna get aggressive early and hold back on him. Gambit looking stumped early on, even with that timeout. Although, yeah. fair play, it seemed like they had a decent enough call to get something done. Just beautiful shooting from Navi, beautiful setups from Navi. But Navi had the read on it. They had four players down there, right? It seems like they had an idea of what Gambit wanted to call in that situation because they were just ready for that push. And so Gambit, I wonder if we're going to see them going back to the default where they spread out across the map trying to find picks, trying to trying to get an opening kill to go their way. That's one thing they've been struggling mightily with so far. This, uh, this map is finding opening kills. Well, let's see what they have here. No utility. Going to just walk through this smoke. They're going to trust it. Flashbang's in, but it was a little bit late. Oh, and Inters follows it up. Gambit's cracked open the B-bomb site. It's just simple to hang on to it. Rotations are coming in. The flick's not going to land. And Boomich is blocked off by a Molotov. And how much do they actually want to test into this bomb site? Do they want to risk the second AWP? Boomich will try and provide something. But without, without a kill or two from Boomich, there's no way they risk this weapon the turn of pace and it turns out it's just pistols all along that you needed you just needed to be quick and running straight out onto a bomb site gambit that works wonderfully for them hobbit sacked himself but that's all he'll make that sacrifice every day of the week if it means that he gets a bomb planted in a round one against navi so boomich and bit doing the best they can to hold on to these guns and if you're going to challenge simple i mean isn't that the perfect situation you can only shoot one bullet at a time with the awp if you well, peek them together yeah, it helps that they killed the first two teammates at the bomb site as well. The timing on that flashbang to peek in towards Monster was everything. Navi just barely missed the window of opportunity. Three round lead. As Gambit chew into it, steal one away with pistols, and back to the rifles we go. Now they need to actually build on something here. It can't just be, uh, you can't just rely on the perfect timing to work out for you every single time, right, to get rounds on the board. This is like three times, though, now in, in the first, uh, what, nine rounds of this game that we've seen Cambit kind of emphasize, like, a massive amount of bodies towards Monster, trying to pop flash themselves in early on the, yeah. on the first gun round. We saw him go back to it and get annihilated. They've gone back to it again. So there's something that Gambit saw in their prep work that makes him feel like Monster can be a weakness for this overpass defense. We've Really seen him only crack it and succeed once, but simple timing shot is going to tag Shiro. The rail saves him, it looks like. Nefani goes down at the hands of Nefani, or at the hands of Bit, rather. I think uh, Simple shot the metal rail and Shiro took the brunt of it, but he is still alive and kicking. Man advantage once again, though, for Na'Vi. This is so important. 
if they can keep their control here as Gambit looked like they want to try and press onto the bomb site. Smoke blocks them off on short. Hop is just hoping to get lucky through this. But now the rest of his teammates are wrapping around from Monster. And Perfecto out in the open gets obliterated. Traded immediately though by Electronic. Still a man advantage for Na'Vi. And the bomb is yet to get planted and they are almost out of nades. They have a single smoke grenade left on Inters. He needs to use that to start creating some room to work with here on the side of Gambit. Oh, simple. So patient for the moment. Up top. Flashbang out to enable his teammates to turn this corner. Inters inside the bomb site. They don't commit. Inters is able to connect. He's going to look for more as well around the edge of the smoke, but Boomich scares him away. He knows there's one at the low angle. He wants simple. He's got him. Deagle's out as well, and Boomich is going to clean him up. Good trades from the Gambit side and into a one-on-one. -on -one. It's Bit to Hobbit, and he's not going to be able to find it. Huge clutch for Gambit. That is such a savage angle from Hobbit as well, catching him right as his feet touch the ground. No chance to readjust his aim. He's already dead. Hobbit is too quick. Some frustrating rounds here for Navi, without a doubt. Again, when Navi, I mean, these are uncharacteristic. Navi, when they get the man advantage, they hold it and they win that round. This is another time where Gambit were able to fight back after a rough start. Yeah, getting tagged up, getting damaged early, losing a player early. A miraculous round for Gambit to be able to win. You gotta love that, and that's just the timing on the flashbang that gets him. And he did shoot that metal rail after all. That could have been Shiro out of the picture and a two-man advantage for Na'Vi. Instead, sometimes that's just the luck of the draw. Again, though, another another Gambit attack through Monster. They found a little bit of a weakness, and at the moment, they're really leaning on it. See Na'Vi crack a couple times in that position, although the aggression last round from Bit was excellent. Good timing. He's got the first. And Inters doesn't want to peek. There's another follow-up, and Bit's going to deliver again. He's been so good for Na'Vi, continuing here in the semifinal. A five-on-three advantage for Na'Vi. These are just power plays coming in from Bit. Outrageous stuff that he's decided to just take control of the situation like this. This is individual talent coming through. And now Na'Vi, they should be feeling far more comfortable in this round. Gambit have not, they haven't sacrificed the bomb. They still have control of that at least, so they out of this round completely. The only thing Gambit can do now is figure out a way to get one kill. That's all, you, that's all you're really looking for. Get one kill and see what comes of it. See where you find it. See what it, kind of rotation it's going to cause. See how many players you have alive after the fact. And Bit has pretty much cut this map down. Everyone from Na'Vi can really feel pretty comfortable emphasizing the B bomb site. You can't leave everything unclear, but Na'Vi pretty much know where this is going to happen. Boost coming in, and nobody from Na'Vi is exposed to it. Boomich holding too close. Oh, they may get a chance. Oh, the jumping shot there. Axile getting the info, at least. He spots one player, but that's it. Electronic holding close on short. Drops Axile. And now he's going for more as well, looking for the follow-up fight. Gonna whiff it, but still, that's confirmation of where the bomb is. Valuable information here for Na'Vi. And with 14 seconds left on the clock, it's looking like Gambit are deciding enough is enough. They're gonna back off and save. Yeah, they tested it, but they got that one kill that they would have liked, but it cost them too much. And they're gonna back away with no time on the clock. Seventh round now for Na'Vi. His defense is looking good so far. And Bit is just making power plays, which is amazing to see. What terrific work from him so far. All tournament long, he's been making a name for himself. And what, going into this series, <laughs> going into this series, he's the third highest rated player in the tournament. Just one above Simple. Simple is the fourth. But there was a lot of emphasis put on Shiro going into this match, and deservedly so. He's the second highest rated player. So <laughs> these are all semifinal players right now, and that is why they're here. They've got insane gods of CS on their teams. Yeah, Shiro's made quite a name for himself throughout this year and looking to be one of the best young talents to come out of the region. Would certainly like to deliver here at the Major. AWP in his hands. And Gambit again playing it slow to start. I mean, they've been punished so much by that aggression from Bit and you can see what it's caused. You can see the paranoia in the way Gambit is taking this so slow and so cautiously. Shots, hoping for some more pressure to be applied here by Navi. And yeah, sure enough, Bit going to get spotted out in restrooms, able to dodge out before the HE reigns in. So good on him. And that's Gambit affording themselves some breathing room here, finally. Well, Simple's actually posted up in Monster with the AWP. That's going to allow Electronic to be a bit more mobile, rotating back to the A bomb site. Actually, all of them are going to feel the confidence to start rotating over. They feel no pressure. What a kill from Hobbit. That's a good opening. Gambit have found one. Three players coming up long. And Navi's gonna step in front of the smokes. Nafani can't connect, can't find the kill. Two players at Truck, and it's Electronic to deliver. Even Hobbit's gonna go down next. And Navi's recovering so well. They got here at the perfect moment. 
Shiro, leg shot can do nothing so far. Finally one for him. Low HP, but too many players to look at. Eighth round for Na'Vi. Eighth round on the board. Rock solid. The fight, Electronic has had a few chances to really step up, and he's whiffed a couple of them, but not this time, not this round. He holds the line for Na'Vi on that A defense. And yes, stand up for your Lord Boomich. Lord Boomich. Got Na'Vi started in that second round. A little ring around the rosy on the truck, and they have been running away with it ever since. Oh, the leg shot as well, that's ridiculous. Timings here, timings. Got another round of pistols for Gambit, and they've been a threat. It's not like Na'Vi can underestimate this. Cannot take these uh, eco rounds lightly from Gambit. But I do like the early aggression there, trying to bully Gambit a bit. That's what you're supposed to do against these pistols. Show them no respect. Nice. A bit of the cheer going on as well for Na'Vi. Here we Pump go. Lead the lead. A little bit, they heard that. Is that just to try and bait them out? Oh, Simple's changed up the angle though, he's not watching anymore! Oh, the timing! Disaster! Yeah, that, that hurts. Simple just wanted to look another direction, but he's gonna recover. If anyone can, it would be him. He knows they can creep up close to him. Gotta be a little bit cautious managing these angles. There's a minute left in the round, and he's taking a bit of pressure, a bit of fire from Long, looking for this player creeping up. Doesn't want to swing too wide, he'd be overexposed. There's a lot of risk, a lot of timings on this. He spots one in towards bathroom. They're going to swing it long, and he wasn't prepared. Boomich now under so much pressure again, and once again, going to deliver. Lord Boomich! Triple kill in the bomb site. And waiting for one more. Inters has nothing to do. He's going to go down. It's perfecto with the final kill. Bow down or stand for his Lord Boomich. The Boomish chant, let's go. Dude, talk about it though. He's been getting some flack, right? Out of all the players on this team, he's under so much scrutiny, questioning whether or not the in-game leadership is there, questioning the individual ability. If he's gonna show up here in the semifinals like this, a chance for a chance for redemption. Yeah, I mean, that, that that's obviously gonna be massive, a huge boost for Na'Vi that already has a ton of firepower for the squad. Nine to four in the favor of Na'Vi. This half can very easily, easily be dominant these final two rounds are everything from Gambit. These are That's the hallmark of all of the uh, top teams, though, in their eras, right? Where there was no weakness on the roster. It wasn't like you could go, oh, we're going to go bully this guy in particular. It was like, no, you would still take your head off. So, I mean, if Na'Vi are going to start showing those kinds of qualities where everybody is ridiculous on this team, Gambit are going to have their work cut out for them going into this second half. Yeah, I mean, they've got four of them. They've got four players like that. We'll <laughs> see what Gambit comes up with in the timeout. At the moment, this Gambit attack doesn't feel too dangerous. The few strategies they've had towards Monster have had some promise, but they haven't been able to find kind of a second strategy that's really been effective in this opening half. We'll give it another go here in round number 14. Pit one more time is going to get right up in their face. A little simple as well on the hunt. Was not able to spot him, though. Hobbit able to thread that needle to get out of harm's way. And in the meantime, Gambit starting to show a little bit of presence over here towards top mid. Of course, this has been Bit's playground so far this half, and so they need to take the time to clear it out. Otherwise, they run the risk of getting flanked again. Ooh, this is going to be interesting, though. Bit is actually coming up through bathrooms to join with Electronic. They can actually set up a pretty brutal follow-up peek. It's all about time to Bit. He sees the flashbang coming in. Now Electronic's going to peek. He sees the target far away. He wants nothing to do with that fight. They're happy with the five-on-four and the man advantage. Mm -hmm. And Gambit have once again been forced away from this A-bomb site. They haven't really been able to pressure it a whole lot throughout this half. Good work from Bit on the aggression. And Gambit's going to head back towards B. That timing was impeccable. And now you have three players rock, locked and wrote, loaded, ready to go here for Na'Vi on the B-bomb side. Simple going to get out of here. Proactive play from him. He gets rewarded. Spots Shiro. Doesn't quite hit the nose scope. That was sick, though. Perfect. I'm going to find another one. And it's all on Nefani and Axile now working their way through Monster. They've had success in the past here, but this is going to be a tall order. This is going to be so tough. Boomich just spotted him out. Simple strikes down Nefani, and Boomich is there to take out Axile. 10 to 4, double digits in a half on CT side.
this is getting out of hand. I mean, the protocols from Navi are just so strong. That switch up from Simple and Perfecto there. Simple takes the attention from the right side. Hobbit thinks that's where the battle is going to come from. Perfecto then eliminates that second player, and he knows he can push up to Sandbags and secure that, which just enables Simple to be the aggressive player he likes to be with a shot like this. He knows he's got Perfecto holding down that part of the map. Huge lead now for Navi. A statement in this opening half in the semifinals. <laughs> If you have to play against Navi right now, you're kind of pulling at your collar. It's starting to get a little uncomfortable because these guys, it's clear that they are ready. They are up to the task. They are the team to beat here. Double digits on the CT side. It feels like it's a while since we've been able to say that. Getting a dominant first half here, Navi. So no matter what happens now, they're going to be pretty pleased with it. Simple so quick. Misses the shot, though. If he had to hit that, it's just like, get out. Yeah, it's get it's time to go. Here we go, Monster again. They love this pop flash coming in. Two players going to turn the corner. Deep defense, Perfecto. The smoke is going to cut off one angle. He's got to worry about behind. He's blind. Exile comes through, and Hobbit, they crack it open. Just a three-man set piece at the B bomb site. Two players moving forward, and now Navi's got to recover. I don't know if they can. You got no choice. There's no saving now. You need to get out here somehow. With three players alive, it's all about the retake now. 45 seconds left, and the bomb is just now getting planted. Electronic, beautiful kill there on Exile. One step closer to making this possible here for Navi. Decides to take another fight, finds that headshot. Interst laid low. And Fanny Shiro and Hobbit, the last alive, and they finally managed to remove Electronic, pull his plug. Hobbit with the kill on Bit, and it's all on Simple. Now 1v3, not quick enough. A fifth round collected for Gambit on their T side of Overpass. Moses, do you think it's going to be enough? Uh, it's, they're, they're right on the edge, obviously. I think a lot's going to come down towards those first two rounds, the pistol and who can convert it. But I think they've done enough to be competitive if, if they can find a, a solid defense and build up into it. Axile's another big name for this team. 3-13 for him. Been very, very quiet, but it's been a lockdown defense as well. Simple's got 14. Boomich has 14. Electronic with 13. And the cheering sections. Yes, stand tall, stand proud for the Lord Boomich. Fist bumps going around, and we're about to get into the second half here. And we're going to get to see what Navi have in store for us on the T side. What have they prepared? Because you know they've, if this is the outcome, you know that they've put in the work. I see everybody with a stack of papers next to them on that team. There has to be something in there. Yeah, we've seen that uh, saw it a couple times in the group stage come out. <laughs> we'll see if they need it. Best Electronic. Team. All right, go ahead. Electronic and simple. Just taking a little bit of control early. Aggressive actually. Electronic, this is so bold. There's the flashbang coming in. Shiro goes down. If he converts the second, that'd be huge. And simple waiting for a follow-up peak, but gonna back off. That P250 can sing. He certainly can. Keep it in the fight as long as you can. He's got Kevlar as well, so it's the raid boss strategy. Able to take some damage and dish it out. And they've decided to regroup here, Navi, and work their way up onto this A-bomb site. Quick rotation coming in here from Gambit, though. They're not wasting any time with this. There will be a second body here to put up a fight in a moment. So Navi have to hit this window before further reinforcements arrive. They decide to peek together. What a play from Gambit. Nefani finds the headshot. He gets traded, and now the push is in here from Navi. Nefani doing the best he can to hold the line, but it's not going to be good enough. Perfecto with two kills and a bomb plant for Navi. All three players at the truck, though. They actually have to extend outward. Oh, they're going to jump right through the smoke. Enters knew it was coming, but he can do nothing about it. All on Hobbit, one versus three, and he's got to at least try. He's got a challenge. Oh, and this is going to be so difficult. So many different angles. There is a kit right next to the bomb as well, but he needs the kills. He needs them now. There's the first, reloading as well. He's got time. And pushing forward the stairs. They're trying to bait him into each other. Hobbit is making this possible. Oh, the kit, and this is not planted for Bank. He can stick this to Fuse. How does Bit play this? I don't think he's out of it. Hobbit has created a miracle. Gambit's got the pistol. In improbable fashion. And if anyone was going to deliver the monster round, it had to be Hobbit. What a play! Unreal. 1v3 clutch of the pistol on overpass. And that could be the round that sets Gambit up for success here in the half. What a close play. But again, first half pistol, it was tight. And then you get that insane second round from Boomich. Navi coming back into it. Now we have to see, are Navi going to be able to do the same thing here? With that bomb planted, they can afford to get a little bit of gear going in this round. But it's not fully committing to it. Hero AK on simple. Couple of nades and some deagles, but that is it. Navi kind of trying to play halfway on this one. That's interesting. 
All right, so I think the best meme I've seen so far is simple looking at the pages, and then written on it is, you know, devil walk one major, simple zero. Yeah, that's yeah. a good one. That, that was good. I like that one. Send us some more if you found them. Well, a little bit of a lifeline provided by Hobbit, the 1v3. They got to survive this round. Simple with his AK-47 working in tandem with Electronic over towards Sandbags. Peek up. Beautiful shot. Ooh. There goes Hobbit. Revenge. Five on four for Navi. Revenge for the last round. All right. Well, you managed to lay him low. Man advantage. And look at this push coming through here from Axel. What a mad lad. I think Bit might have heard it. Do you think he heard the footsteps? Because it seems like Axel was running. Yeah, Bit's now got the angle. Axel's never going to expect this. Bit with the second shot connects and simple. In the meantime, finds another headshot. Ooh. Oh, and another one. Where does this guy do it? Shiro now the last one alive here for Gambit, hoping to be the hero. Oh, oh my simple. god. That is disgusting. <laughs> Look at confusion on simple. Why is it got to be so easy? Why is it always so easy for him? That's so filthy. Just taking over the round single-handedly. This is so beautiful. And Gambit just got worked. Simple never had to move from his position. <laughs> 11 oh, to 6, real. he takes it right back. Yeah, that's the face of a man who's wondering who doubted he's the best player <laughs> in the world. <laughs> Playing it up, what a boss. Oh no, and that's heart-wrenching for Gambit. Dude, that is both pistols won and then both follow-up rounds reversed on him. Gambit cannot catch a break on this map, and this is their map pick. We have Mirage coming up next. Navi picked that one. This is going to be crazy. So let's see now. Navi, that's a round. If ever a round was going to get you fired up, that one's got to be it. So far, just a little bit of presence being shown here on B. Gambit trying to make up their minds. Navi haven't really shown their hand anywhere. Just busy taking over the map, slowly but surely. Yeah, just very passive. You might see like Perfecto being the more aggressive player with his MAC-10 electronic getting a little bit of information as well. And for Gambit, it's got to be just fights won. No utility, nothing to do any kind of trickery with, just a, a stack towards the A-bombs that even Hobbit is backing away from B. And electronic is going to start investigating with his FAMAS. And he's going to see it's entirely clear. He sees one player jumping far back. He's going to start calling Navi to rotate over. And electronic has got the winning recipe, even with simple out towards long. And maybe he just wants to farm. He just wants the kills. Kvip getting those stats. He's only got 18 kills so far, Moses. I mean, you know, you got to pump those numbers up if you're Simple. Well, the bomb plant's going to happen, and now Simple's going to get a chance because the rest of Gambit have cut him off from the rest of his team, and they're out and looking for him too. So life can get real interesting here real quick for Simple. He's going to have to fight his way out of here because the rest of Gambit are going to say, wait, hold on, that's an AK and it's alone. Can we get our hands on that? Yeah, they might want to. Simple's going to be aggressive, of course, though. Of course. Smoke behind him for protection. And the rest of his team, you can see he's being patient. The rest of his teammates coming up the staircase, they might want to join in on the fight. He doesn't want to commit to anything before his team gets here. Not even risking the AK-47. 5-7, doing work. Double headshot for Exile. That would be great for Gambit if he could start heating up, passing some guns away. And now, actually, there, there's a little bit of hustle, a little bit of intensity to Navi trying to chase this down. They don't want them to keep these rifles. Electronics got them both. Brilliant stuff from Navi. And Simple survives the entire time. He just served his bait. He guaranteed that Gambit had no way out. There was no backing off from that fight. Once Gambit were committed, they had to hold the line. That 5-7, it's really interesting that we're seeing so much 5-7 lately as well. It feels like it's really coming back into style with these players. And, I mean, just look up close. You can nuke people with it. It does so much damage. Really cool to see. 12-6 to six now. Navi four rounds away from securing victory on this first map of the best of three of our second semifinal here at the Stockholm Major. They, I mean, they're gonna have, Navi's gonna have such a nice lead before Gambit's even able to fall back. Timing on this flashbang is everything and it's a little bit early. Navi's not gonna do anything to commit just off that one Molotov. So Gambit pulling the trigger on the stack a little bit early. And Electronic again, loves these fights. Gonna look hard clear towards the left, but there's that 5-7. Again. Ho, 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 enters at range. That was sick. Takes down Boomich, we're into a three on three, and now you've got a FAMAS to play with if you're Axel. Not the best, but still. Exactly, you're gonna go ahead and pass that around. Inters actually has Kevlar, so he may be able to take a fight with that. 
we have two players. Locked and loaded on the B-bomb side, ready to dance, ready to go. Axel looking to do some more damage, trying to stay alive and set it up for his teammate. Unfortunately, Inters and Axel both drop at the same time. And we are going to get a bomb plant here for Na'Vi. Highly likely now that we'll have a 13th round for Na'Vi, barring some miracle play again here from Hobbit. If he, if he gets two 1v3s in this game, that would be something unbelievable. This one, I don't think there's a chance with these AKs. Yeah, Pitts is going to just turn the corner and not even let him get started. 13 to 6, a seven round lead for Navi. Simple, just, you know, keeping it, keeping it straightforward, right? You know, just click on their heads. Just click on that. That's all you need to do. And right now, I mean, that's exactly what's going on. What's working for the entire team. It doesn't really feel like there's an element that's lagging far behind here on Navi. Everybody is doing work. Everybody's doing their job. On the side of uh, Gambit, however. Still waiting on Axile and Shiro to start having that impact. It's Hobbit who's just fighting tooth and nail right now to try and keep this team alive. Yeah, the most experienced player as well on the team. Yeah, that was, the, that was always the speculation going into this. Oh, simple. I don't think he spotted that. I think he thinks he found the timing to where nobody could be here, but who is he going to look? I thought he might check Hobbit. One, and able to convert the second. Big start to the round for Gambit. Now it's just all about not letting it slip away. A five on three for the defense. I'm pretty sure I just saw Blade looking at the papers in front of him like, wait, I, I, we must have missed that. How did Hobbit get there that quickly? It's not written down here on this page. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't in the script. I, Simple got there so fast. I think he, I think he believed he had the timing. Bit's going to go down next as he's trying to get creative, trying to take some liberties through the smoke, and Hobbit's being very mobile across the map, and this round has slipped away from Navi. Seven on the board for Gambit, and they need to start stringing them together. They need to close this gap very, very soon. Electronic, perhaps a one and done. As Hobbit is behind him as well, there it is. Good round from Hobbit, triple yep. kill for him. And still a little bit of fight in Gambit. Hobbit just keeping his cool, doing terrific work. One of the top, uh, goes into the series with the 1.2 ratings. I mean, he has been doing tremendous work for Gambit. And again, it's worth mentioning, right? The, the veteran of this roster. And all eyes were on, Gambit, or on Hobbit. We felt like, okay, Hobbit's definitely gonna show up. The big question mark was always gonna be whether or not the young guns were gonna be able to follow suit or if Hobbit is just gonna have to try and lead from the front the entire time to show him like this is possible. He just needs to keep them alive long enough for Axel and Shiro to start slamming. It's, look, it's, it's Gambit's almost like a, that, that, that's been a question for this team like ever since they kind of rose to prominence in the early in the first half of this year. First test was Cologne. Obviously here this is gonna be a follow-up test of these young guys stepping onto the big stage as well as in a LAN environment. Yeah, and with the fans this time, that's the thing. And remember, there's, there, there's a part of Gambit that's a product of their own success. They were so good for the first half of this year. It is almost unreasonable to expect them to be able to maintain that performance heading into the major months down the road. And they need to come back into this match six rounds behind. The bar has been set exceedingly high. Let's see if they can match it. 13 to seven. Navi, three rounds away. And now we get that standard patient waiting game between both of these teams. They're known for it. It's how they play the game. It's how they approach the game, the CIS region. Slow, measured, use the utility, play the clock. And Gambit's playing this one passive, and that means Navi's going to be spending a lot of utility to kind of gain some of this map control, some of this map presence, and try and figure out exactly what the defense is. But if Gambit just stays kind of far back at the moment like they are, you know, eventually if, when the hit comes in from Navi, if it's too late in the round, there's gonna be plenty of counter nades for Gambit to use. They're gonna have a lot of options on how to play their situations. Well, now we've got restrooms control. Next. Or we'll see if Bit is going to keep pushing that forward to take control of Banana as well. But for now they have long restroom. That's one starting block if the A hit were to come through. One of the most common information plays is a push out towards long, and Bit is watching for it at the moment. Now, he can be put into play at a moment's notice. You can see the bomb centralized in this attack. It's going to be Boomage to probe through. Monster completely blinded, no chance. But they're simple. Axile got baited into pushing forward, but there's still Shiro lying in wait. Exactly. He needs to hold the line here. Perfecto seems to realize it as well. Is he going to check on hard left? Yes, he will. Oh. Instant death for Shiro. Perfecto, that was a beautiful headshot. And Bit's going to catch Nafani out in the open as well. Goes for the follow-up, takes Hobbit out of the fight. Beautiful work from Na'Vi. They needed both those kills. That bomb almost did not get planted in time, even with all that success. So God bless Bit for those double kills inside of the eight bomb site. Na'Vi's going to be on 14, and they just worked Gambit again. These are painful losses for Gambit as well. Just one-sided batterings 
And now you're going to get Inters backing off, trying to save an AK. That's a beautiful glimpse of Navi just throwing a feint towards that B bomb site. Minimal pressure, see what it's going to cause. Boomich coming out monster has forced Axile into an aggressive play mm -hmm. where the rest of Navi's lying in wait. Absolutely beautiful and obviously followed up by some incredible shots. Perfecto and Bit delivering all the entrances that Navi needed. Hobbit just looking pensive right now. Trying to figure out what it is that needs to happen. I'd be very curious to see if uh, Gambit decide to call a tactical timeout. Time Maybe a little bit of a breather here, trying to stumble uh, Navi for a second. It looks like we will get a timeout called. I mean, they have to. They have to decide what they want to buy here. I think 7 to 14 is way too far back to just let them get up to 15 with just pistols. You have to invest something, especially since you have that AK-47. Mm -hmm. So Inters can drop a rifle. A couple players may have to drop down to, like, light armor or some FAMAS, but Gambit will have a decent enough buy to feel comfortable fighting back. It's all about where are you going to position it. What have you picked up so far that you can take advantage of? As we get closer and closer to this uh, timeout running down, the clock has begun. We're going to be getting into this round. Oh, and as far as Gambit are concerned, it is going to be, yeah, just a little bit of utility picked up here. They have, uh, they're going for it. Famas, Nades, just a late buy. So you get the replay here of the last round. Simple, just that is the brilliant shot there for Perfecto. If Shiro holds out for even a second longer, that buys so much time for his teammates to get into position. Yep. The fact that Perfecto annihilates him immediately is just outrageous. Well, round 22, 14 to 7. Gambit need another lifeline. They already were delivered one earlier with the Hobbit one versus three. They need more. Almost looks like they want to set up some aggression through this smoke. It's going to fade. They want the fight, and there goes Electronic. Simple's got one, and Inters wants nothing to do with that battle. He just backs away. Happy to be in a man or in an even situation, four on four. You could just hear the nope from here. It's like noping out of there. He's not wanting to take that fight whatsoever. Had he gone down, that would have been disastrous. He was the only man alive on that B-bomb site on the defense. Instead now, Navi still spread out quite a bit. Bit just now starting to make his way up along where there are two players waiting for Gamble. Uh, it's an interesting setup, though. Not the hugest fan. He's now, Axel is going to find himself a bit isolated from the rest of them. And it feels like Bit's comfortable to once again just set up here at Long Restroom. Oh, here's a play. Naphany in the four-on-four. Four. He's going to test and see if there's any kind of a gap in the default. Oh, and Bit just barely misses him. He doesn't see him. This flank could be huge. Bit goes down. That's the only presence towards the A bomb site. So now Navi just have to pull the trigger on this hit towards the B site. Smoke's going to go down to provide cover, but look at the player ready to jump up on the boxes. Inters, he can do so much. And Navi's not going to see him. Boomich isn't going to see him quite yet. Ball is being planted. There's the jump over. There goes Simple and not able to convert another. But he's caused chaos. He's made it hectic in Boomich. Still alive, but just for a moment. Gambit hold on just barely. An eighth round. It's just, it's just barely enough. Inters, that smoke ends up hurting yes. Navi more than it helps him. Without that smoke, he gets clipped immediately, and yet that smoke just barely covers him. A bit too tall a task there for Boomich, though, when he's getting swarmed, and that is a much-needed round for Gambit picked up, but I don't think it's going to be a confidence-building one. I think they realize just how close they came to disaster there. But some very nice flanks working out for him, and Gambit can count that a huge win. Because you got to start somewhere. It's the first round, and CS is a game of rounds. So you just start putting them together, and before you know it, the map is over. So many times you talk to players, I'm like, yeah, I didn't even look at the score. I didn't even know what score was anymore. I was just playing round by round. I was just playing the game. So this is all a mental aspect of it. Early exchanges, top mid, keeping him honest. Navi showing a little bit of presence, and in the meantime, in connector, it's about to pop off. Perfecto, ready to take point. Oh, and Hobbit just a split second too late. Oh, they've actually bypassed the defense that pushed forward. They actually weren't even spotted whatsoever in this kind of a setup. So Perfecto and Simple have a decent amount of control, and they can start pressuring up highway already into the A bomb site. A little bit of an off angle. Simple hasn't realized it just yet. There's the peak now. He knows. He wants these fights. Dinked is going to force him back. That's damaging, but Perfecto steps up in his place. So sick. Hobbit, though. Golden opportunity here for him to ruin their days. Perfecto has no reason to think that he's coming up here, and he's going to get caught completely off guard. Hobbit taking his time to work in here. Instant death for Perfecto. Four on four. And Hobbit peeling back to the B site. Bomb is split now as well. We can see Boomich with that just passing T spawn. 
Simple is going to come join him, but he's got low HP. Now they're going to have a tough decision to make. Hobbit still alive, and he, oh, he needs that kill, or he needs to just survive a little bit longer. Electronics got one. That makes Hobbit get aggressive, and he's found eventually. Nowhere to go. All options removed. 30 seconds left, though. They're cutting it so close. They don't have any room for error here. Inters could ruin their day completely. Oh, there's, this is weird. This is so This is so dangerous. Electronic is going to clear the A-bomb set. I don't think they have time to go back. He's got to have a very aggressive flank. 17 seconds left on the clock here. Simple. He knows that Inters is close. Not going to get the kill. And Shiro's here to hold the line. It's looking like another round for Gambit. Eight seconds left. And the kills come through. Bumich and Electronic save the day for Na'Vi. You can't cut it much closer than that. That's crazy. What a wild amount of trust you have to have as a team to pull off something like that. No time to fall back to a clear A bomb site. And Electronic just has to be pure aggression on the flank. And again, Navi find a tactical way to beat Gambit. Unreal. Unreal this level coming in here from Navi so far. And that they managed to get that done. They are looking so good right now, and it is going to be another tactical timeout called by Gambit. A bit of chatter happening over there, trying to figure out what it is that they need to do. I mean, there's a, there's a, the copy pasta comes to mind, but. Uh, there's not much left to do. Like, they, they have to win seven rounds in a row, and they have to start it out in, in such a desperate situation. They have no more timeouts to use throughout this half to make the comeback happen, even if it was to get going. And it doesn't look like Navi's even gonna allow him to get started. 22 kills on Simple now, 21 on Electronic. Yeah, that's the beauty of it. There's been so much focus on Bit and Boomich and Perfecto, but you know, Electronic is just comfortably up there, getting kills, doing his job, getting his work in. And yes, now Gambit backs to the wall on this map. It's map point for Na'Vi on Gambit's map pick. A tremendous situation here for Na'Vi where they could really set themselves up for success. Going into Mirage next. And so, we have that soul rifle in the hands of Hobbit. MP9 on Shiro. Beautiful headshot shot from Axile. Takes down Bit. That's a certainly a good start here in this round for Gambit. With a man advantage, that puts Na'Vi a little bit on the back foot. In the meantime, Na'Vi, instant reaction from them is to rotate hard over towards B. Let's see if they can pull this off. There's a timing here with only two defenders. Hobbit inside the bomb site. Enters the barrels and they're gonna bypass any utility he wanted to put out. Hobbit's the first player, he gets the first. Boomich responds in kind and Hobbit's just gonna chill behind that smoke. He's trying to, excuse me, Inters is just gonna try and stay alive as much as possible, waiting for his teammates to get in, but Navi as well. They've got 50 seconds. They've applied a lot of pressure. It doesn't need to be a commitment just yet. Yeah, this thing, look at this, they just put the brakes on, wait for the smoke to clear, find Inters in the open, and now they have the man advantage in this situation with 40 seconds left on the clock. Loads of time to work with, and they have the superior firepower. As soon as the P comes through, whoa, simple with the uncharacteristic miss. But still, that gets them the info. There's one on high, and there's one on low. They know where everybody is now, Navi. They have all the information that they need. Boomich's gonna find one, and it's Shiro with a double simple to save the day. 